Hello, my name is Ted Bergfeld and I am the Humanities Librarian at Gumberg Library. In this video, I want to introduce you to the Gumberg Library Undergraduate Research Award, which is one of the many awards that will be presented at the Duquesne University Undergraduate Research and Scholarship Symposium this year. The Gumberg Library Award recognizes outstanding research projects in any field of study that incorporate significant use of library expertise, resources, collections, and or services. It is awarded each year at Duquesne University's Undergraduate Research and Scholarship Symposium, and all awards will be presented at the end of this year's URSS. The Gumberg Library Award includes a cash prize of $500 and winning posters are presented to the public through the Duquesne University Institutional Repository, the Duquesne Scholarship Collection. Eligibility for the award. All online posters accepted for Duquesne University's URSS will be considered for the Gumberg Library Award for Undergraduate Research. However, no award will be made if no posters submitted meet the specified criteria. For information and assistance, students can request a consultation and find more information about Gumberg Library's URSS research support at guides.library.duq.edu slash URSS. Judging. Committee of Library Faculty and Administrators will judge relevant posters presented at the URSS. What will the judges be looking for? The Gumberg Library judges will base their decisions on the research questions and inquiry methods presented, the effective use of appropriate literature and data to support conclusions, and innovative or creative contributions to the field of study. Emphasis will be placed on sound research methodology, and this is so important. Demonstrated use of Gumberg Library's resources. Posters will also be evaluated on design, clarity, organization, and successful communication of ideas to those unfamiliar with the field. Scoring. There are three criteria or requirements that will be considered. The successful poster must speak to all three. The first criterion, evidence of effective and or creative use of Gumberg Library's resources. This evidence must be explicitly presented on the poster and may include the use of manuscripts, archival or special collections, please mention which ones you might use, might have used. Databases and other electronic collections, please mention names and titles. Printed resources, again, please mention titles. Library services and or research consultations, and please give some details of those, or any combination of the above. Meeting this requirement will contribute 40% toward the final score. Second criterion, the effective application of principles of research. The judges will specifically look for effective use of research methods appropriate to the question or hypothesis, substantive use of existing research to support the project, and clearly documented sources cited according to the conventions of the discipline. Meeting this requirement will contribute 30% to the final score. The third criterion, effective communication of research scholarship. Evidence of this will include clear explanation of the research hypothesis, methods, results, and conclusions, clear explanation of the project's contribution to the field of study or to society, effective use of the visual poster medium and organization of project material. Meeting this requirement will contribute 30% to the final score. Again, students can request a consultation with a Gumberg librarian 
and find more information about Gumberg Library's URSS research support at guides.library.duq.edu slash URSS. Thanks for listening, and uh, we hope to see your poster at the URSS. <laughs>